We have been thinking about the day we would leave for our world tour for months, preparing for it, thinking about it, trying to feel where we would feel until it came, up until we were sitting in that car, driving on that road. Let's rewind a little bit and do a little recap of what happened the last three weeks up until this moment. Hey, it's Next Meridian. We are Nicholas and Mathilde, and we left everything behind to travel the world with our Land Rover Defender Albatross. Three years, seven continents, and just the road as a home. This is the last video before the real trip starts, so in this episode we will show you all the latest installations and preparation work we've done ahead of our world tour departure. Enjoy! We are leaving on a three-year world tour. Um, doing every single continent. This trip, of course, uh, is a big one for us. It's the first time we're doing something this big. So there's a lot of planning that goes into it. We do have a billboard that some of you know about. We've actually completed that billboard this week. Uh, we are the, fine, the before last week of March. Nick recorded this video three weeks ago. Since the past few months, everything we did was bringing us closer to the departure date. Just like a clock, every milestone completed was a step closer to leaving. Tick tock, tick tock. Three months left. Renew your passport, make your vaccines, do medical checks, medical training. Tick tock, tick tock. Two months left. Check shipping prices, sell all your stuff. Tick tock, tick. One month left. Prepare the move of your house, install the last accessories. Tick tock, tick tock. We were getting closer and closer. But before anything else, we had to move out of Brussels. We don't have anything against Brussels. But honestly, after five years, we were done. Who says move says packing, cleaning, and rock cleaning. First car is full, albatross, full of things going away into my house, my parents' house, and Mathilde's car going to Mathilde's parents' house. It's full to the top, no space for nobody. <laughs> Just enough for the passenger. Leaving also means saying goodbye to friends and colleagues. Over to the next time, guys. This is it. Last day at the office. I'm leaving. And, you know, cleaning my desk entirely. Vi ringrazio per tutto il vostro lavoro. <laughs> and as if it was not dramatic enough, the weather chose the same morning for an historic snowfall in Belgium. On that note, Nick headed to Paris and the south of France to find Lysom and Min, while I moved back to NC with all of our equipment to start some preparation. So here it is, living Belgium, with the car loaded to the top. And my friends, the plants next to me. So next up Luxembourg and then all the way to the Alps where apparently it snows. Tick tock, tick tock. The move behind us, we had two weeks to finalize all the remaining installations and preparation on the car. 
But here it gets a tiny bit too technical for me, so let me give the floor to our head engineer and mechanics, Nicholas. We've installed recently a lithium battery that goes um, in annex to our starter battery for the car. Uh, this will improve performance, but also uh, durability. Uh, and here looking from behind the driver's seat, I have the uh, MTTP360 from, um, from Energy Mobile what is making the charge function between the lead and the lithium battery. And now I think it works perfectly fine. And we are now set up in terms of electricity. We are not too worried about it anymore. And uh, we're getting a pre-filter diesel installed in our Defender. And if any of you guys know Grizzly and Bear overlanding, then you know that they had their car installed by Newman 4x4 here in France near Annonay. And this is where I am right now, trying to get the pre-filter for the diesel installed because it will be very useful to some of these less refined diesel countries which I'm going to, such as Iran, Bolivia, even some others, multiple in South America or Asia and surely even Africa. Salut Grizzly and Beer! J'espère que vous faites bon voyage. Nous, on est encore là. Merci d'envoyer des clients ouais. avec des très belles voitures. Et ben, bon courage et puis à bientôt. Bonne route. We did also receive from Euro 4x4 uh, a few spare parts that we'll bring. So of course we're bringing with us like a small box. It will mostly be uh, parts which get used, so usage parts and not really big spare parts that we can't bring on the car anyway. And anyways, we'll need like a garage to fix those. So it's mostly small parts. Uh, we do still have little tasks though. So we still have, of course, to uh, do some sewing. We have uh, to still do some final purchases for the car, but it's more little things that we have to do. The main is all done. Um, anyways, I, I don't think it's ever going to finish that you still have something to do on your car. And indeed, we had a lot of work. We had to sew a new curtain to separate the driving seats from the back. We also sewed a new pillows for a mattress. Um, my father helped us fix one of the storage box that he had built for us so that the doors closed perfectly. What are you doing? A pool in the bed. Lose some humidity from the bed. Yeah, it avoids the mold. We also had to make holes in the bed so that uh, we created some aeration for the mattress. And here is the result. Finally, it was time. We were supposed to do that a long time ago. It's looking right. We had to switch the tires. Um, we need to do that regularly to even the usage of each tire. Do you enjoy doing it, mom? No. <laughs> made an inventory of the pharmacy and prepared some pharmacy uh, bags. So basically the travel clinic and some of our family friends who are doctors um, helped us list everything that we need. So now I'm just uh, doing the inventory of it and writing exactly what it's for and what are the posology in French, you say, the, the amount you should take in what situation. So when everything is ready, we would have fit most of it in there and then um, everything we have double, we'll put in a little box in the car as well. But the easy access one would be this one. And we did categories, so we have uh, pains and fever, um, allergies and, and bites, you know, of any kind. Um, we have trauma, so like if you hurt yourself and break something. We have digestions, of course. Um, we have uh, open injuries. Um, and we have, what do we have yet? Everything for Pali also. Ta-da! For someone who didn't know what to take for stomach pain, we improved a lot. We also got some special training on a poor banana kubai. Excuses for the violence of the scene. <laughs> Tick tock, tick tock, clock is ticking. Once everything was installed, 
um, we finalized with the packing of all the equipment. So first thing, we did an inventory of everything we had. It will be useful for all the border crossing. And then we tidied everything inside. We did a lot of triage at this phase, uh, realizing that some stuff like simply didn't fit and some stuff were just double or recurring. So we didn't need to bring them. We're pretty sure we will need to do this exercise again in three or four months once we traveled a bit with the car because we will realize what's really useful and what's not. Now we are setting up our bonnet bag, the Blunt Force bonnet bag. And uh, we basically created an additional little system because it was a bit long to set up. So we added those little hooks like this that we can open and close so that we can remove the bag quicker. And it seems to be working well. For departure, everything needs to charge. Just like the Jackery as well. 4%. These things as well. And these power chargers and speaker. Clothes in, bag on. Electronics charged, we were getting very close to departure. We had one last thing to do. We wanted to throw a real big goodbye party for all families and friends, and we saw things big. It was definitely the highlight of those two weeks of work. Holland, the Netherlands, and hopefully the fact that we live on this trip, we can do something for you. Like if it's not just you know like nice pictures from nice places or some sort of inspiration, it will just make you feel good about your hot shower. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we hope like we can be a little window on the world, and we hope you will jump into that window whenever you can, because like uh, like today we think it's the best thing when we can share those moments, so thank you for the trip, uh, we want to share it with all of you, and thank you so much for joining, and uh, cheers to everyone. <laughs> never have done it any other way. An immense thank you to all our friends and family. It was the best way of leaving and the best way of like creating those great memories before a long time abroad. Thanks for watching. Um, next week you will discover our departure and the first week in Denmark, including how we settled in the car, 
as our new home for the next years. Don't miss what's coming next. Hit the like and subscribe button and see you next week. Bye!